Hello and welcome to my second video about making molds. This time we want to do a cut open mold. So I have my clay, I got some dice, I got a container and of course some sculpting tools. The thing about this type of mold is that you want to reduce the work you put into your dice to clean them off. Um, with the previous version, the open face mold, you have always the problem that there's one complete face that isn't the finished look. You always have to sand it down and you need to attach something or engrave the numbers yourself and that's pretty difficult to match. So this kind of mold is uh, a way to achieve this by reducing the infill point and you don't need the full face, you just need one of the vertexes here. To achieve this, we need a little bit of clay and form a cone. This can be in first place a rough cone. This will be our filling funnel later. Now we just need to attach this to our die and um, this will not avoid having a big filling point so this is still pretty thick but you can see every number is free nothing touches the cone so you just need to clean off this spot here and form a new vertex so you see this is a little bit of tricky because you only have this small part where it's connected as a little tip this is the way I do it with my vertex dies I just drilled a hole into one of the edges here and attached this little metal pin this is a piece of welding uh, welding rod um, and this makes it much easier you you can also use your clay in this part, uh, that's what I did earlier, but the pin helps a lot to secure the die onto the clay cone. And this is the next generation, so I replaced the clay with this uh, finished plastic piece, but I come to that later in another video. Okay, so now it's the, the most trickiest part to attach everything to a container. I would need much thinner fingers. So here are our sculpting tools come in pretty handy to push it to the middle. And then I really like to use something round, or something like that. So I get around the die and start pushing the clay to the bottom. To give it a little bit of a tacky, but I think I made it too small. Let's give it another try. Uh, now it starts to stick. I hope you can see it good enough. just want to make sure it's connected to the bottom doesn't care much how it looks and then I go one time around it so carefully remove it and you can see that's everything we need to set this up. Maybe this is a little bit overkill with this big of a funnel, but you will see that it's quite handy to have a little bit bigger um, filling funnel in the first place. So don't, don't try to uh, save on your material yet. Um, just make sure you do some good molds and with time you learn what part you can cut off a little bit deeper to make sure you uh, spare some material but that's good enough for the moment I think Okay. 
Okay, here we are now after the mold is cast. Everything is cured. You can see here's a little bit of bacteria that dripped over the edge as I poured it. But that is also completely cured, so that's fine. You can also see a little bit seeped under the section here. And yeah, let's open this. Um, in this case, a knife is not the best solution. It's a pretty hard uh, container. But these disposable hard plastic stuff is very brittle. So take two fingers here and your thumb on top. Always make sure some gloves might help. Be careful with that section. And then you can just push it and thereby you find a spot that breaks. Then you can push with your thumb from the outside to make this till the bottom. And then you make the same thing on the other side. Push it. And now you have two parts. And you can start carefully to broke them in two pieces. I wear some eye protection and I would recommend you to do the same because you see some of these brittle parts tend to fly around. And that's not pretty good. If you want to protect yourself even more, you can use some masking tape and get a little masking tape around it. So, but here's our cast. Looking so far so good. We have only some bubbles on the surface. The rest looks clean. Now I take the scalpel and work here on the funnel section. I get in here. And then I trace all around this part just to do these little flimsy overhang pieces. Then we need to remove this. Mostly I start squishing it to make it a little bit thinner. And thereby all around gets loose so voila that's it now to the some kind of tricky part we want to cut along an edge and so you have to look from the top part and find one of the edges and then make sure to cut down at this part so in this case you have five edges from the d20 so we cut down here Two fingers on top, a little bit of pressure, or, or better, a little bit of stress to pull these two sections apart and then slightly cuts to deepen it. You can also start to form some waves, try to switch it a little bit to make it better, uh, better visible, do some small waves. These will form keys. So it's much easier to bring the two parts together later. The more you come close to the die, the more careful you need to be. At this point, a good view is helpful. So I try my best to give you a good shot, but also the camera blocks me a bit. So here we go. Make shortcuts and always check where you end up because at the next vertex you need to change the direction of your cut to follow along the next part. So here we are at the next section. So we change direction and go a little bit over there. Okay, the last cut was not very successful, but I think it's good enough to show you the process. So this time I started good, but then I slipped away. But okay, it should work. So here's our die. And here you have the negative of the mold. So the second mold of my tutorial series is done. I'm already working on the third version 
And uh, as always, thanks for watching. And for any questions you have, use the comment section down below. I try my best to answer everything you have in mind. And hope to see you in the next video. And until that, happy dice making.